Thursday, the 24th of November, Mr. Pravitesh Jass decided to put a ring on it. And he finally, finally, finally decided to make that special commitment to the one woman for the rest of his life. Hilti Groshin, hello. <laughs> Go. Three, two, one, action. I was 29 at the time and single, so basically illegal. My older brother said he was basically pestering me, Sheen's get married, Sheen's get married. And I was like, you know what? When I turn 30, find me a guy. The door is open, my light is on. Blow up your Seven days after that conversation, it was like, oh, Sheen's, by the way, I forgot to tell you, I found a guy for you. To me, it was like, Dad's like, all right, we're going for lunch, we're going to meet a girl. And I was like, oh, come on, man. And I was like, what? No, I'm not ready for this. You had seven months. He's like, no, nah, no, nah, I found a guy. Next minute, this guy comes along. <laughs> and then I met her. And the, from the very first moment, it just clicked. Something clicked. Let's get together. The wedding. <laughs> the wedding. <sighs> Why am I getting married? Mate, million dollar question, hey. <laughs> That's a hard one. My first impressions of Cav was <laughs> badly dressed. And he's like, I don't know, it was hideous. I was like, uh, not a very good dresser. Very softly spoken was the second one. And the third thing was his cheekbones. Like, come on. Before I met Sheena, I was like, oh, wedding, this, that. I didn't understand one bit. But after I met Sheena, I'm like, yes. I do not know why, but just the feeling. Oh my god. <laughs> it's crazy that 12 months ago, on the way to Liverpool Westfields, my brother Ravi told me he found a guy for me. <laughs> I can't believe that a whole year later, and that guy is now my husband. <laughs> Do the proud! It's gonna be a massive party. Just for his body. <laughs> <laughs>